Welcome back. Today I'm working on our 2019 Husqvarna TE150. We've been having a problem with the front brake locking up. I think the pistons may have some corrosion causing them to stick, so I'm gonna take those out and see what those look like. And the slides may need to be cleaned and greased. First thing I'm gonna do is disconnect this brake line. I'm gonna read the bolts holding on the caliper. I forgot to disconnect the speed sensor, so I'm gonna put this bolt back in temporarily. All right, that thing is apparently very corroded and I can't get it disconnected. So we're gonna to have to escalate. I'll just remove the sensor from the caliper for now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these brake pads. And I'll remove this from the bracket. This slide still had a little bit of grease on them much yeah those pistons feel pretty seized up can't really move them All right, I'm gonna get some compressed air and see if I can get those things out of there got one out so I put that back in I'm gonna put a brake pad in here to prevent that from coming all the way back out to see if I can get this other one to move I'm not going to reuse these brake pads, by the way. All right. I should be able to get them both out now. So these both are pretty rough. They've got quite a bit of wear on them, so I suspect that's what's been causing the front brake to hang up. So order new pistons and new seals so I'll get those installed so I'm gonna use a pick to carefully get these seals out and try my best not to damage the inside of that caliper I've got my caliper cleaned up and I've got all my new parts here ready to go in. So I'm going to start reassembling it. The larger seals go in first. I'm going to put some brake fluid on those. All right, got some big ones in. Put a little bit of brake fluid in each cylinder. And some brake fluid on each piston. Alright, now I'm going to put some grease on these slides. Thank you. 
I'll go ahead and install the new brake pads when I've got the caliper off the bike. Let's see, that one goes there. goes here I can reinstall it on the bike so I might have to buy a new speed sensor this thing is all corroded and I cannot get it apart so I don't know if it's still gonna work I'm just gonna put it back together and see if it still works no nope, the wire broke it is definitely not going to work. So it can be really difficult to bleed front brakes when the front caliper is completely full of air. So I'm gonna reverse bleed this. I'm just gonna use a syringe and a hose to force fluid into the caliper up through the hose into the reservoir. Check that up top. All right, that's starting to get firm, so now I can just finish bleeding the brakes like I normally would. Fluid's still looking a little dirty, so I'm going to refresh that. I got all the air out of it. it. Feels good now. Hopefully that'll resolve our sticking front brake situation on this bike. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.